welcome to Access to Perspectives. This is a new podcast series where we will talk about um, five different topics that are spanning the fields of open science and science communication. You will hear us talk about anything that's regarding open science practices, including open access, open data, open peer review, open source, hardware and software, knowledge transfer, um, citizen science, we will discuss research integrity and its various forms in regards to research and innovation, um, responsible research altogether, ethics and science, animal welfare, um, sustainable research and re sustainable research practices, and epistemology. You will also get insights into best practices of research project management, including how to organize your research data in a way that is also making it fair and reusable by other researchers and for societal and environmental benefits. We will um, share our experiences and learn also from entrepreneurs how agile methodology can find its way into um, the academic ecosystem and research workflows and how we can thereby make many of the research approaches more efficient in terms of outcome and also more like better should I say bearable or really um, more fun and enjoyable um, which includes also transparency across the stakeholders and the team that are working on a research project. You will hear about digital tools that are commonly used and increasingly used by scholars and researchers across the disciplines. And we will discuss research data management and the fair and care principles for data management. Um, if you have followed us for a while, you will know that we have also specialized in giving courses and workshops on scholarly reading, writing, and publishing. So we will exchange our insights here as well and have guests to share with you what's there to learn for strategic reading of research articles, how you do your literature search, scientific writing best practices, for native English speakers or non-native English speakers like myself. Um, we will discuss the various forms of peer review, open access publishing, publishing altogether um, inside academia and making research publications accessible for various stakeholders and visual communication for you as a researcher to find ways to visualize your research data. With regards to career development, we will be discussing opportunities, challenges, and um, options for you to build your reputation as an expert in your research field, online and offline, how to build your network, your professional network, and also probably touch into presentation techniques. We will hear from expert trainers and how to present your research data. Um, to various audiences also here. We'll talk intercultural competencies and what it means to be a researcher who is ready to, um, to dive into work placements around the world really and what, does means, what that means for you as a researcher, what personal experiences you gain and what challenges you experience and how to mitigate and overcome those challenges. Um, a big aspect of our work is language diversity and, yeah, as mentioned, science communication <laughs> and our tagline is also a big part of our work altogether. Well, all of what we just, um, what I just um, presented to you is science communication one or the other way. We are working as a team at Access to Perspectives. We're working with varied, various stakeholders and partners on a range of topics that concern indigenous knowledge and how indigenous knowledge can be complemented with scholarly knowledge and what we can learn from indigenous communities as researchers and how we can also protect the knowledge for and with indigenous communities to ensure ownership with the people and with the communities. Um, even if, and especially if we use it for scientific purposes. 
We also specialize in various approaches to multilingualism in research. And we have looked already deep into the varying openness of digital open science tools, meaning digital tools that are commonly used in an open science context in your research workflow and for the dissemination of your research outcomes. So yeah, all of that together, you will hear much about in the coming episodes. We're starting with Lori Haag, who is the former director of ORCID, org your personal researcher identifier i hope you got your orchid id already um, check in again and make sure to update it but and lori will talk will share with us her experiences in how she came about to build this organization which has now um has now a different leadership team and she has moved on to build her own organization with the Mighty Red Barn, which she will also present to you in some of the details and the expertise that she's bringing into her own entrepreneurial adventure. Um, besides Laurie, we are already lined up for a few other conversations to have. So by the end of next month, you will probably have five or 10 episodes to listen to. And we're very much looking forward to hearing from you what you think of it, what are your perspectives and opinions on the topics that we discuss, and we invite you to communicate with us on how we can all leverage our knowledge gain together and possibly also explore ways where we can collaborate as researchers and entrepreneurs and a little bit of both all of us. So stay tuned and welcome to the show.